primary liver cancer, that is cancer that arises in the liver, um, is the cancer that is rising at the greatest rate in the United States. Now a lot of people when they talk about liver cancer, their uncle or auntie died of liver cancer, what they really are talking about is where the cancer spread from somewhere else, from the pancreas or the colon or something, that's secondary or metastatic liver cancer. That's not what we're talking about. But primary liver cancer arising in the, li in the liver is rising at a quite dramatic rate. And we attribute this to uh, the group of people who've had hepatitis C now for 20, 30 or 40 years. So their liver disease has progressed, they have cirrhosis and now they're getting liver cancer. And sometimes uh, they don't know about having the hepatitis C until they actually are diagnosed with the, with the liver cancer. Uh, so this is, a, this is a real problem. The other aspect of this is that the number of patients developing liver cancer from fatty liver disease is also on the rise. So maybe just as we're about to begin to see a decrease of liver cancer due to hepatitis C, we're beginning to see a rise due to cirrhosis from fatty liver disease. So primary liver cancer is a, is a real problem. The prognosis for liver cancer has really improved over the past decade for a number of reasons. One is if we find them when they're small, we can potentially do liver transplant and that's a cure because it gets the cancer out. And it's unusual when they're small to have already spread somewhere outside the liver. And the other reason folks are doing a lot better with liver cancer is there's a lot of treatments that our interventional radiologists can do by putting probes into the tumors and just destroying the tumor locally. And it's often not curative, sometimes it is, and folks are really lucky. But it can sure lengthen life by years to go in and just treat these things and shrink them down, and if a new one pops up, go in and shrink it down and keep going.